So these are the factory Ford all-weather floor mats. They're a far cry better than the uh, just base floor mats that you get from Ford. They do offer a lot more coverage, and they're much more similar to the uh, aftermarket all-weather floor mats that you get. Um, there's still uh, it's better coverage, but it's not great. You know, it's I'd say, I call it average. It's it's not a bad floor mat at all. It has the two retention posts, which pretty much all of them do these days, and it has pretty decent coverage, except for under the gas pedal. They've really avoided the gas pedal, I think, out of fear of causing interference there. Um, but otherwise, it's got pretty decent coverage. And just a quick look at the passenger side floor mats, very much the same thing. No retention posts over here, it's just got little spikes on the bottom to kind of grip the carpet. So it is a little bit loose, but it does stay firmly in place. I have a little bit of uh, the mat pulling back around the edges a little bit. That's kind of typical for this material. This is uh, like the softer rubber material, similar to what you might find in a uh, Husky uh, floor mat. Uh, if you're familiar with those, it's a very soft, uh, pliable rubber. And last but not least, the rear floor mat has decent coverage. It does come down to the door sill a little bit. It goes up under the front seats a little bit, not all the way. I can still see carpet from where I'm standing under the uh, front seats. And it goes pretty much all the way up to uh, this rear container here, but uh, it doesn't like touch it or completely cover that carpet. So it's got decent coverage, but around the edges, it does have a little bit of a border where they've clearly uh, had some tolerances for, for movement, I think. Uh, because I've had other floor mats in the past where they go right up to the edges, further under the seats, a little bit better coverage. And then uh, not so much coverage on that center console area, if you see right there. If you see right here, there's for some reason a gap in coverage right here by the center console. Uh, not really sure what that is. So the rear floor mat is, is decent, but it does lack a little bit in coverage. Um, it's held firmly in place with a lot of these little nubbins on the bottom, um, so it's not really going to go anywhere. Again, no attachment points back here. Those are really common just in the front seats. Here's the F-150 floor mat. I pulled that out of my truck, and I'm going to go ahead and throw this one down here. This is the one I'm replacing it with. This one's by 3W uh, Accessory, and you can see they've taken some steps to provide additional coverage around the floor mat, which will become even more obvious once we get it in the truck. Uh, but you can see they've got a small uh, lip right here for down by the floor sill, or the door sill, and they do have additional coverage under the gas pedal. So a little bit better coverage all around, and we will see that once we get it in the truck. Um, you'll also notice there's a couple of little pegs on top of this floor mat. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. Not perfect, but it's better. So this floor mat is kind of a hybrid material between like that hard plastic we see in the WeatherTechs and that uh, flimsy, or I should say soft uh, rubber material that we saw on the factory. This kind of curl up here at the edge is normal after you get them out of the package. They should settle down after a while. If they don't, maybe a little hair dryer to soften it up will help. Uh, but a little bit of this is, is to be expected. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing that I'm not loving is this isn't snapping into the posts on the floor uh, like the factory ones do. Not 100% sure why they're not doing that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll email them and see what that's about. Okay, real quick, me from the future. I want to point out that I emailed the manufacturer and they actually sent me new clips to put in. Uh, they said that they must have been the wrong ones and so they sent me new ones and they definitely clip in uh, like I would expect them to. So for some reason the manufacturing process was messed up but uh, they've been made aware of it. They definitely gave me the right ones this time. So if you have that problem at least you can get the right ones from them and maybe they're aware of the problem now. But definitely now they clip in the way that I would expect them to so that's resolved. Happy about that. So you can see with this floor mat, it offers full coverage all the way to the door sill, a little bit further up here past the, the rail for the seat, and it goes further under the seat and under the gas pedal. It's got a full coverage all the way around. It's pretty much as much coverage as you could expect. 
One thing I'm not liking about it is it's not snapping into these it posts. It is being held in place by them, but it doesn't snap in place. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe that's just this one, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but um, they don't snap into place. So that's interesting. I'm not a big fan of that. This kind of curl up here at the edge is normal after you get them out of the package. They should settle down after a while. If they don't, maybe a little hair dryer to soften it up will help. Uh, but a little bit of this is, is to be expected. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing that I'm not loving is this isn't snapping into the posts on the floor uh, like the factory ones do. Not 100% sure why they're not doing that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll email them and see what that's about. Um, but for now, we're going to move forward. These posts are actually because you can add some carpet on top of this if you want. I'll show you that in just a second. So I've reviewed a lot of floor mats. I have never seen this. But these posts are so that you can add carpet on top of your floor mat if you choose to do so. I've never seen a floor mat that does that. If that's something you're interested in, that's an option on these. Um, it's obviously a heavy duty, kind of like a commercial uh, business carpet like that you'd find uh, like in an office or something like that. It's a very heavy duty carpet, so it's not gonna deteriorate. Um, but I mean, if that's something you want, you can go for it. Uh, just make sure you don't get any interference from like your feed or your gas pedal because uh, where it's clipped in. But uh, yeah, if that's, a, that's an interesting option. It feels so fancy. I've never had carpet on my floor mats on my carpet. That's actually a really good fit on this one. It uh, again has more coverage, comes all the way back past the uh, seat rail onto the door sill and it even comes up towards the center console a little bit more so very good coverage on this um, again no uh, no attachment points on the bottom of that that's uh, because Ford doesn't have any installed um, there are fewer little nubbins on the bottom of it but I'm sure it'll still hold just fine and then of course carpet the color of the carpet actually matches the f-150 carpet pretty well if you have the black carpet That should settle over time. It's a little bit better. All right, now let's get the rear floor mat out. All right, so that one's in, and that is as full of coverage as you could ask for. Let me take it to the other side so you can see a little bit better. All right, so this floor mat is kind of difficult to install. It is a very tight fit um, to the point where, like, when you're installing it, you are pushing the edges of this up to and against the plastic pieces all around the truck. Um, if you remember, when I was talking about the factory one, I said, you know, there was a small gap, a lip up here by this storage box. That is not so. This overlaps that storage box a little bit um, in my truck. Um, so that goes all the way uh, up here. It does close that gap up here by the center console by completely covering it. it also covers um, the bolts for the seat rails are covered. And then it goes under the seats just a little bit more. Um, then completely comes down here to the edge of the door sills on the other side it's uh perfect i might just need to adjust this a little bit to close this small gap but it's it's perfect um that's i'm calling that 100 percent coverage it doesn't get more coverage than that as far as i'm concerned um you'll notice it's got these two little spots here that look like those attachment points and that is what they are but ford does not have attachment points here uh, you can get i know aftermarket ones 
to like you can put on the carpet if you want. Those didn't come with this, uh, so I'm not sure why those are, are molded into this floor mat. Um, but I suppose if you wanted to get aftermarket little clips for that, you could. Um, I, don't know, I like this floor mat. It's uh, full coverage, and I've got four kids, so having full coverage, keeping this carpet clean, is important. So let me talk about a few features of these floor mats that they wanted me to address real quick. Um, it's made with TPE through injection molding, which they made very clear to me is the same process Legos are made with. I'm not sure why that's a bragging point for them, but it is. Um, they also mentioned... I thought this was interesting. I'm not sure how much this is going to do, but they talked about these negative spaces on the back of their floor mats, and they said what they've seen is that these negative spaces uh, act as a small air pocket and help reduce uh, road noise by uh, isolating it and insulating it a little bit. So are you going to notice that? I don't think so, but that's something that they said that they have uh, researched and that they've, they've designed into their product. So one extra small feature there. And of course, then the uh, obvious thing is the carpet. That, like I said, that's, uh, that's not something I've seen before. So there it is, guys. This is the floor mats from 3W Auto. Definitely a unique offering in the floor mat space. Um, they are one of my more favorites. I'm going to keep them for a while and try them out and let you guys I'll follow up and let you guys know how they do. Uh, previously, I was using the Oridra floor mats, which I've been using for a long time, very happy with. So we'll see how these do. If you'd like to pick up a set of these, you can get them online. I will put a link in the description below where if you use that link, you can support this channel. Also, I will put a discount code in the description where you can buy these uh, and get a discount by using my code. So thanks for checking out this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's just a floor mat, but we're spending this kind of money. It's important to know what we're getting. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you feel like you want to do so. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.